Hey hippies, welcome, welcome, and welcome back. It's Courtney Shavante back with another banging cannabling tutorial for you guys. I am so in love with this one. But you know the drill before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything that I put out moving forward for you guys. And let's go ahead and get it popping with this tutorial. Alright now hippies, so you know the drill. We're going to be working in layers here. The first layer we're going to be starting with 40 milliliters of resin. You're just going to get that stirred up nicely mixed together. I am using a two part resin, equal parts, one to one ratio. And I'm just pouring that into the rim here. Um, after I finish pouring that into the rim, I'm going to want to make sure it's even. And then I'm going to go through with a toothpick or either a popsicle stick, a stir stick, something like that. So that way I can make sure I release any bubbles that can get trapped inside these little crevices because you guys know these little um, weed leaf um, ashtrays the molds and everything they really trap the air inside those ridges so make sure you you know pay attention to that and are you know keeping that in mind feel free to use a heat gun to also go through to thin that resin and help those bubbles come to the surface to make it easier to pop as well all right, once you have everything thinned out and you've gotten all your bubbles removed, you're gonna take your charms. These are the ones I'm going to be working with. Um, I have some blinged out wheat shaped charms that I will have on my shop. It'll be reopening on 420 and I'll be having them available for you guys. So make sure you check that out but you're just gonna place them face down into the resin. I'm putting a different charm on each leaf. So I'm doing three of these little wheat leaf charms. And then I have um, two little charms I'm gonna be putting in between um, each of those leaves. Um, I'm not really quite sure what this little thingy is called, but it's like this, this little cute little gold embellishment that I'm going to put into the tip of two of the leaves. And then um, where the, what should I call it? Where you're going to put your item, your little smoke, whatever you're smoking. When you put that over onto the, um, into the ashtray, into those little dips and everything, those are going to be where I place these gold arrows and everything. So I'm going to place those like kind of face down. And you want to have a steady hand because as you know, that surface is curved and that can make it a little difficult to keep those in place and everything. But once you got it in place, you're just going to leave it there and you can spray a little bit of alcohol to further pop those bubbles if necessary but we're just going to allow this layer some time to cure All right, hippies, so once that layer is cured, you're gonna go ahead and whip up another 40 milliliters of resin. Um, put that off to the side, and then you're going to grab your glitter mix. This glitter mix is called one of those nights. I have it available in my shop, which will be reopening on 420 for you guys. Um, and I'm just going to be placing that directly into the mold. The reason I'm placing the glitter directly into the mold before any resin is so that way I can make sure that this glitter kind of stays relatively, um, you know, where I'm placing it and everything. So if I were to put the glitter in after the resin, it would more than likely float a bit more. This way it allows me to have a little bit more control of where the glitter stays, especially since glitter really does what it wants to do. And then it has a little partner in crown resin, which also does what it wants to do most of the time as well. So this just kind of helps out with all of that. But yeah, so I'm just going to use my little glitter scoop. You don't want to use too much glitter and then you just kind of want to push it around, um, kind of drag it a bit. Um, so that way it kind of scatters just a tad. Um, so it's not just so concentrated in one tiny little area, unless that's what you want. 
so after you finish stuffing that i'm going to go ahead and pour my resin directly on top um you're gonna see me move a little bit fast because i got a little bit caught up you know placing the glitter so don't do what i did my resin actually started to flash cure on me i didn't get any chunks quite yet um but if i had left it for any longer it definitely would have cured on me it only needed maybe about two or three more minutes before it went hard but yeah so you're just gonna go ahead and place that on top right above that glitter create a nice even layer using this scrape at the size of the cup to get all of that glitter out and then you're just going to allow that some time to cure as well now if you guys have hear any noise in the background that's my son and his friends acting crazy outside but they're outside they're just still really loud so don't mind them <laughs> parent life anyway yeah go ahead spray your alcohol get those bubbles to release and allow that to cure all right now it's time for the fun part so i'm going to start by prepping 80 milliliters of resin here um, I also have some alcohol inks that I'll be working with but first I'm going to pour about a half of my resin into the rim um, somewhere between a third and a half because you want more to be able to drop into the spaces later I'm going with that popsicle stick to release those bubbles as I told you previously make sure you get into those crevices and everything hippies you don't want to um, have any bubbles trapped there that you weren't worried um, that you weren't aware of so after you finish like you know moving that around and making sure everything's even and where it needs to be what you're going to do is you're going to start adding in your alcohol inks i'm going to be using um four different color alcohol inks and then i'm also going to be using a white alcohol ink to um get the little dropping cloud effect and everything and you guys will see what i'm talking about um, in just a few so I'm just going through with the color alcohol ink and then I'm just adding maybe about three to four drops of each. And then um, I'm going to go with the white alcohol ink and place that, drop those directly on top. So make sure you shake it up really, really well first because you want to make sure that um, all the pigment is like shooken up in the bottle and so it does what it needs it to do then you're going to go through with that resin and pour directly on top like I was telling you before that's what's going to push the white and, and the color and create that cloud effect it's going to push the alcohol ink closer towards the surface and create more dimension and give it a little bit more texture and everything go in with a little bit more alcohol ink if you need to but do your best not to be too heavy-handed because you don't want um, to have any issues with curing which I was starting to get worried about but it turned out fine for me so yeah pro tip um, no more than 10% of um, pigment or anything should be added to your resin you're going to take your popsicle stick just push all the resin that you can into the actual rim to make sure that you got the cleanup going along and everything and not too much is on the base and then you're just going to allow this some time to cure All right, so once that layer has had a chance to cure, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and prep about 120 milliliters of resin. I have 150 in this cup here because I'm working on another project for another video that you guys will see very, very, very soon. So that's why you see so much resin in this cup because I actually made 150, but I'll only be using about 120 um, for the base of this. So what you're going to do is you're just going to add in that mica powder and stir it up really, really, really well. Once you have all the chunks gone that you can see, um, I want you to go ahead and take that white alcohol ink and then I want you to pour some into the cup as well. And then you're going to mix that up really, really good. Now the white alcohol ink is going to make sure that this is a nice opaque color and it's also going to help eliminate any bubbles that are in there because it has alcohol in it of course. So once you finish getting that stirred up really really well um, you're just going to move that off to the side because you're going to need it very very soon. 
now next you're gonna go ahead and loosen the caps on these alcohol inks so that way you know you can move quickly and then you're going to clean the base of the mold I'm cleaning the base of my mold using some white shipping tape that I have um, I'm sorry some clear shipping tape that I have on a roll you can also use painters tape and you just want to remove any excess pieces or anything like that get that up off the base so that way um, you can get the effect without all the extra debris now take your alcohol ink and you're just going to add maybe three to four drops of each color and you want to place the color near where you had it in the rim so that way you can get the effects that I'm going for if that's your goal. If not, do as you please. Um, but yeah, you're going to see me just add these drops in and everything and it's going to be kind of hard to keep it in place with the silicone so make sure you're working on a level surface and that will really help out take that white colored resin and then you're just going to pour that directly on top um, where you have this alcohol ink and it's going to create some really interesting hues there so um, kind of randomize how you pour it so that way it kind of goes where you need it and it's not too thought about you know whatever <laughs> just go ahead and pour that out and you want to completely fill it spray your alcohol to pop any bubbles and you're going to allow that some time to cure hippies Fun time, almost time for the grand reveal, but first we're going to do a little mini reveal by pulling this from the mold. So make sure you loosen the sides and everything. Be careful with your fingers because the resin does get really sharp along the edges, especially with this particular mold. So I don't want you guys cutting your fingers or anything like that. Um, if you watch my older videos, you'll see band-aids all over my fingers because I was constantly cutting and slicing up my fingers and I don't want that for y'all. So do as I say, not as I do. All right, all right, all right. So we're gonna go ahead, pull this completely free. And this is what it looks like before we add any base coats or anything. But you know, we gotta come through with a base coat. So what I did was I went ahead and mixed up um, some resin. You're only gonna need about 20 milliliters, but again, working on another project that you can see a little bit off to the side and everything. So that's why I have more. Um, but you're going to mix that really fine glitter in here with the resin. And then from there, you're just going to pour a nice nice even layer over the base of your ashtray use the popsicle stick to create an even coat and move that all around you don't want any dimples add more resin if necessary because you don't want any dimples to arise um, in your finished piece especially with this being the base coat all right so um, after you finish adding all of that in um, what I want you to do is grab your heat gun you're gonna grab your heat gun and you're gonna go over that layer and make sure it's nice and even and that all the bubbles pop spray some alcohol and they're gonna let that cure ta-da here is our finished project hippies i am so in love with this ashtray i am so feeling this little tie-dye smoky 420 type vibe that we got going on i really love the colorful smoke effects i love how i was able to do this with two different methods using alcohol inks like let's do a close-up on these sides right quick so you guys can see what's going on here with this alcohol ink you see the type of designs and everything that you can achieve like with the alcohol ink and drop it in there I love how whimsical it looks and how the colors just kind of dance and play around and how you can't really like recreate the same exact effect I love how this is just so one of a kind and everything it looks so pretty I love how these colors really complement this glitter mix and how it all just meshes so beautifully look at how my little 420 blinged out charm looks in there like yes you can still see the sparkle of the charm because these charms are a one i'm telling you 
I really love how the base looks too. Like I love how the alcohol ink looks with um, that white background. And I really love how this effect looks. I'm probably going to be using it way more often now. Um, I'm really liking how it looks with the solid color mica powder resin. And mixing those alcohol inks to kind of create a smoky effect on a solid background. Like I'm just really loving it. And I love how they combine together. It looks like it's kind of bleeding into it or bleeding out out of it you can't really tell just because it's all so beautifully blended if you hippies are feeling this ashtray as much as i am make sure you let me know down below leave me a thumbs up so that way i can see it, it really keeps me motivated i really appreciate hearing from you guys i love reading all your comments and everything if you try it send me a photo you know the drill hippies until next time xo xo <laughs> bye now <laughs>